the playability. You could get 3x the playability if you incorporate um uh yeah, three the, different kind of quest systems yes or, or, but or the, three diff different kind of uh, main quests th 3x but it's also one more basically what i'm saying so that technically you could do four different playthroughs that's the span of like two years four what yes four? uh i just i forgot Bandits? the uh if you go rogue that portion yeah, yeah, yeah. which is oh, not confirmed yeah, yeah, yet the in the game if yeah. you incorporate that it, some kind of way yeah, 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 not confirmed yet, but if you do that, yeah. which it it later on in the video, or did we talk about server expansions yet? And the uh, possibility no. of? Okay, well, that's later on. But yeah. if you expand the server, and you're now not just 48 pl people, uh, players, you add another 16, Rogue Faction. Boom, right there. Yeah. Guess what? Another playability option. That's the span True. of two years if you're wiping and every you six fucking about it. months. Yeah, and if you think about it, two years is a lot of time for content updates. So by the time you're rolled back around to the first faction mm. you started with, things have completely revolutionized themselves because they're so focused on making content updates. This... Now the quest line is different. The progression is different. The stash system is different. Maybe there's different unique stash options that you could do. Customization, or not stash, but your, your, uh, your tent, your whatever you guys are. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably do here, an, an excerpt on this since it's just gonna be a long ass fucking video. But look, so if yeah, they do so this, Mara... it's gonna be fucking insane. The playability yeah, I... is gonna be remarkable. Mara, listen to us. This <laughs> will be unimaginable for this game. Look, I think I, the I, devs is telling me to do it as well. I think it's I've, the next couple of seconds. I've already stated already the said. best the best option right now. I'm not sure if you could exactly do this or not, but do a pre-order for Steam. Gauge how many people want this fucking game. Make two other options of how you want to play, pay for the game. Okay, um, a standard edition and two other editions. Okay, uh, you want to charge your like. What we estimated was $25 to $35, okay, for the standard. Do other Please editions. Please don't go over 60 if, with your other editions. So, uh, uh, I, I'm, I, I will I'm up buy your to $200, yeah. if anything. I, I, am, I will drop that on this game. Euler, actually, just like, oh, I'm on Saturday. Right, bro, just but, I listen, suck. <laughs> but listen, if they do this, this can change the gaming space. They could hire more people for, for MFG. I'm talking about the yeah. gaming space for MFG. They could hire more people, get more quests out there, and actually start implementing this sooner. And if they do, that seven-year outlook could turn into four-year outlook, three-year outlook. I doubt they could get it sooner than three years to do all of this shit that now they could have, unless they expand 500%, a 5x of their current uh, company standards right now. What and they have would they have? Employees working for that? I oh, think, fuck. I th I somebody think... said 80. I, I honestly have no idea. Yeah. If you have an early access on Steam, don't you have to name a date? And that's the thing that I I think they no. don't want to do. A, a, lot, of, a lot of games. No, okay, so don't. for when you pre-order, dude, it's not an early access. It's a pre-order. Pre-orders do ah, not okay. have to ah, have okay. a date. I pre-ordered Starfield two years wait, wait. ago. <laughs> See, that's I, what I mean. I, Wait, yeah, wait, wait, you wait, you do can not can have you, to have a release date. Can, can, can you pre-order yes. Can you pre-order an EA though? That's okay. You, technically, a pre-order gives you access to EA. That's what a lot of games do. Uh, yes, Battlefield yes, 2042 yes. had a two-week early access for all pre-orders. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and they don't I'm have saying... to follow certain parameters with that on Steam. You can have as long as an early access as you want, as far as I'm no, as no, far as I'm no. Aware. I mean, can you actually pre-order an early access? Because they don't have, they haven't released early access right now, right? But if they add no, 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 a, yeah. a pre-order tomorrow, can you actually pre-order a e early access yes. version? When they, that do, becomes you could, you could have pre-ordered okay. 2042 six months prior to them releasing the two-week open beta uh, or the closed beta access. Another... I bought it the second they announced the game, and it was still four or five months away. 
before they even release the early access. Another option, because I know Mara is very, very smart because he did market fucking research. I know for a fact he did market research on how much money do we need to be able to get this game to the seven-year outlook. Yeah. Okay? Even if it fails in the beginning. I'm sure he has factored into all of those accounts. Think about this. Even if you do just the pre-order, say with the EA access, he was only going to charge $25. Do the pre-order $25 and give a little extra thing for somebody, uh, for, for whoever pre-orders, you know? Maybe yeah, they, they get the game early for things. five days or something. And then the okay. actual early access, it's $5 more. So now it's $30. This is a, right now, with everything I'm seeing, this is the $40 game. I would pay $40 yeah. for this. I, I would pay $80 for an Ultimate Edition on this game and not not yeah, not be affected by it. Come from the guy saying get... he didn't want it to go over 60 <laughs> I'm talking about for their like first level. I, I, I you gotta realize it okay, depends okay. on the content that we're getting. I don't just want a fucking name tag for paying double what the pri uh, no, price. No, of no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I no, want I, there to I be some level what? of cosmetics. I, I, I don't but want an advantage. A little like I don't. I, I do not. <laughs> I want the IP want for two hundred dollar version. <laughs> no, that's no, 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 no. I like do not Mara want has... an advantage over other players because I yeah. bought a pre-access. I do not want a bigger stash. I don't want a bigger secure container. I do not want that. That is, it takes away from grinding. It really does, in my opinion. Oh, okay, okay. So they've said they won't add cosmetics to the game. So why not? They, why not put like... different? Uh, sets no, of clothing no, in and like, like they that. don't want they don't, okay they're gonna have clothing but they don't gonna have like paid cos uh, cosmetics and that would count as a paid cosmetics so in if the if they're gonna do the ultimate i would think the better choice would be if you're interested to be an alpha tester like for the next patch like you get it a month ahead or something that would if be you interesting pay for if you pay for ultimate because i don't want any kind of Ooh. skins uh camos or something attached to ultimate i would rather mm. have do you want to support us a month ahead on the alpha te uh, and do an, uh, be an alpha tester for the next version do you know what else is a good on idea ultimate or, or or standard you just get it the day uh, like day when it released the next one is okay you get a week ahead and the ultimate you get a month ahead or something that's i would rather have it be like that instead of camos or anything else you know what else is a good that idea um becoming a tester so mm. say the ultimate version yeah. you have separate servers and basically a separate install like some games do i i yeah. think I'm for free but Armory sure forger it. has it Armory Forger has yeah, an experimental you, mode, and you can test out the new yeah. updates on it. You, you're a tester now, and you could get like a cool like Discord role or whatever. You know, I, I yeah, would that, do that just for that, honestly. Yeah. To be able to yeah, test that, the game, pre-test, and and send out my suggestions for yeah, and make yeah, it exactly. limited time too, so you know like the people that are <laughs> testing your game are dedicated to it. Because like if you release it like let's say tomorrow. And you just have it open to the point where early access ends. And after early access is over, you can't get access to this tester edition anymore. Yeah. Then that gives you the people who started with this game and started in its very beginning are giving their honest opinions based on what they positive seen from feedback. the beginning and what they yeah, positive not not so much not so much positive feedback, but more constructive criticism yeah. on the features that they don't like and they see maybe uh, new developers come in and they start to add a different vision and it's not what the game originally wanted it to be. Yeah. I see Mara and some of the older and some of the later devs a couple years down mm -hmm. the line losing their sight on their vision, but their player base will never, at least the beginning yeah. players, because we're so dedicated. I'm sitting here dedicating two hours of my life, over two hours now. Dude, I've done probably <laughs> five hours of podcasts at this point oh, to a game I've never that. even fucking played. Yeah, because I love the idea and the premise of it. It scratches yeah. every single tick I've ever wanted in a game before. Besides the fact I can't fly a Huey and blow shit up in Vietnam. The, but the, anyways, back to my point. While, while listening to uh, "Fortunate Son" by uh, Clear, yeah. Clear Reading Clearwater, yeah. I, 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 I want to go play Reforger now just because I want to go. But it, yeah, this, I this is the thing, though. We we've seen portions of they are listening in quotations. I'm referring to yeah. 
the map size and the video we did last night that they made yeah. the map bigger and i'm the did only they really? one yeah they made the map bigger 100 percent uh how uh, ground zero ground yeah zero. uh that's what I meant. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for the clarification. Ground Zero is bigger. And uh, remember, you was in oh, the first wait, podcast. Stop, right. We talked yeah. about how small it was, and that was my con- uh, concern. Like, and the, then I mentioned the tunnel system and how it may be bigger than it actually looks. And maybe and that they, just red they, circle was... Yeah, they might up? not even have a freaking tunnel system right now, and you gave them an idea like, oh, shit. We could... Yeah, we could incorporate a tunnel system. Out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they, like they might not even been thinking about that right now, but you can't... You can't base a game right there on the fact of Ground Zero, have it small, and also not be that interesting. It has to be stupid interesting. If it ain't stupid interesting, don't bother. You know what I mean? Don't even just make it a regular fucking game at that point. But besides yeah. the point, uh, basically what we just covered, Mara, I'm I'm exerting this video, I'm sending it to Foxic, sending it to Rick. It's probably gonna be a 10 minute roll. Not a Rick roll, but um, it's going to be a roll. <laughs> uh, I know we make that joke every time, but um, look, you're listening to people who's been in this server constantly, nonstop. We are willing to pay a high dollar amount. Do not I'm screw gonna... up by making only one edition and a standard edition at that. You need to make yeah. multiple editions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that's not your vision that you want to... Yeah, let's make it a good game and just focus on that. You, We want this game to grow faster. Imagine you set a seven-year fucking roadmap and you beat that. You could throw that in Nikita's face. I know you want to. Yeah. I know you yeah, want like, to. Like instead of just having the day-night cycle, you combine the monsoon system and the, and the day-night cycle yeah. into one update because you were able to afford to hire new developers who were more experienced in that kind of tech. Because it, you yeah. came out with a pre-order system and you had, I don't know, there's 49,000 people in your Discord. Half of that just bought the standard pre-order. And that's what, hold on, what's 25,000 times 40? Let's uh, just let's just do some math here. Let's do 40. More than enough money days. to fucking hire more that people, is, I tell you that. I would say, uh, I have an <laughs> even better number That's over a million dollars. You. I've got an even better number for you, Sin. Um, there are 80,000, there are over 80,000 people f- wishlisting. Yeah. Exactly. Right exactly. Now. exactly. Exactly. So just um, the twenty five thousand I was well, talking I, sorry, about. Sorry, I, I was in the toilet. Um, yeah. <laughs> don't just the twenty five thousand uh, I was talking about, Mara, is a million dollars at the standard edition, and I guarantee you, there's going to be at least a thousand of those that are going to buy an upper edition, if not more. I'm giving a very, very grounded estimate here it could go way exponentially yeah. higher than that. If you release these editions on pre-orders, don't give us early access any any sooner to the standard one please refine your game make it solid because a launch dictates how a game goes look at battlefield 2042 they finally fixed their systems after years of development it's turned out okay it's not bad but they're having to lower the price to eight dollars to sell copies of the game at this point that's why dice is dropping the project and they're not doing any more seasonal updates do not start with a buggy launch in an early an early beta test please I don't care if I have to wait until June 15th, for Christ's sakes. If it takes you two months to get to a point where it's early access, I just want to start up. I want to get home from work after working 10, 15, or 10 to 12 hours and get on my computer and enjoy the game and not complain about the bugs and the stupid AI and the fact the quest system is too hard and the fact I can't make any progress because I'm getting sniped from 300 meters. I do not want that. I want a good, refined, polished product if I'm going to pre-order this. I will. Yeah, and imagine uh, my money. I don't care. Imagine I don't that. I want to say one thing. Oh, go for it. I'm not paying to be your play tester. <laughs> your, oh, your idea is stupid. Tactical. Oh my god! Do not be like, oh, I'll no, pay I... to be in. Nah, that's retarded. It's... That's stupid. That's brain dead. Anyway, right. Uh, no, it, that's, that's, no, that's in like, an addition no. to what they could add in. That's not, I'm not paying uh, just $200 just for that. I will give you my credit that. card information with a $3,000 cap if you let me into VIP. Oh, right. my <laughs> God. No. Free IP. No, I, I am not paying for that. Uh, another thing is I'm not sure if they could add this in later multiple editions and you could upgrade i'm sure they can i think i've done that before on steam but yeah just just for shits and giggles they need more than one at launch 
Okay, I don't care what they add in, if it's a fucking Discord roll, if it's like $3 more, $5 more, I don't care. They need to gauge what people, like, want this game more and want to help it more. Something like that. Uh, getting my but words all access, fudged, but um, it's... Early access, so early access should start exactly the same time for everyone. There shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to pay to get. Yes, 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 yes. I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. I, yeah. Now, when it comes to playing the later versions, like season two, a couple oh, weeks early, yeah. that's yes. more realistic with the versions, yeah. but I do not want there to be paid access to early, uh, to experience the game earlier because I feel like what's yes. going to happen is those people who pay are going to have a worse experience in those couple of weeks than the people who just wait and pay the normal exactly. $40. Yeah. I think it should genuinely just wait. Yeah, so just, early access just release it at the same be, time for everyone. Yeah, early access should be the <laughs> same for everyone. The later wipes, let's call them that, because that's, that's what they are. The uh, later wipes, if you pay for ultimate, you can get maybe two weeks ahead, and then you can, uh, like, did you, they're going to make you, like, just so you know, this is not a finished product. If you find any bugs, report that if you can, and, like, they implement a real test stand like a standalone test server just for the people that bought ultimate basically yeah uh, and, and they listen to their should, suggestions and stuff yeah, a little and more that that should be it like that should be they, like th they shouldn't add lots of other stuff on it like it should be a choice do you want to be able to report bugs test test the game out uh, week earlier the quest isn't gonna be there it's just a core gameplay i think it would be the best thing with, uh, maybe some quests but the new ones at least with the amount of money that they could possibly bring in they could make a dedicated team just to the playtest portion like yeah and all they all they really have to realistically do look at look at how successful their very first playtest was with the content creators just give us that don't give us unrestricted access for a certain amount of weeks. Just maybe invite us to a play session or yeah. open it up with a separate version install and say, hey, the servers are open for the next eight hours. Go check out the new features we're playing on adding in the next update. Yeah. yeah. So, and uh, this and you've already people... announced these features. You've already made this public in the Discord. You're just letting people actually experience it who paid for your project before there was any truth or revelation about it. This will we don't only... know the truth about what's getting in this game yet. We really don't have the slimmest idea because there's so much that hasn't been covered. And I love that. I love speculation. This will, my day so much more interesting. This will only make people feel more special and get this out to more people. It, it, it's, it's amazing. I, with the playtest portion, if they would uh, be to do so, I don't know how it would go around by being like NDA or anything or if it would just be open. Like, hey, look, we're testing this new feature. Say they add in... Oh, the monsoon stuff or something, you know, and then I think it should be in day basically. I don't. Okay, so here's the thing. Well, so that if it's, only if it's not, weeks, if it's not, just real quick, hold on. It, if it's not, it would push more people to perhaps want to buy that version, helping fund the game further to where they could also just get more people on board to push the game out faster. It's all about getting things done. Fast and efficiently. There is yeah. a cap, I feel, for a, for a game of this size where it's like, okay, look, we, we can't have this many people working on the game, okay? It's it's going to be hard to manage. You know, have, stuff like that. We have 7,000 people working on a single game. But, <laughs> but another thing is they need to learn from Tarkov and their mistakes, okay? Th this is the perfect game to relate to with different editions and the size of this game and it being something new. Think about it. Tarkov was the first of its kind. This is basically the first of its fucking kind, okay? Yeah, there's no there's... other fucking goddamn game at, like this, okay? You gotta look at it damn near yeah. almost the same. Not in the sense of, oh, you're extracting Tarkov. Well, you're technically extracting Grey Zone 2, but it's to a safe location. No, not in that fucking sense. It's the first game of its kind, okay? They could learn from Tarkov and all their mistakes. Do a different edition. Fun your game faster, get it out faster than fucking Nikita, and gloat about it all fucking day. And also, fuck it, you get enough money doing this with multiple editions, 
make an arena type based game don't call it arena though and do that for your pvp players i love that i, I, I want it i want that. it i'm I, telling I, you right now i want it i oh, hate yeah. tarkov with a burning passion because of its or because of what nikita's done but i do love arena it is fun dude it, it is it so is much actually fun. enjoyable and pre-orders should not be Launch tomorrow or whatever. It should be. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You, th yeah. you think he's listening right now? Like, what? No, 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 That's no, a hypothetical. No, no. Hold on. Are you him? Are you him? No, no. <laughs> no. I know why Zap doesn't talk. He's got a fucking voice changer. That's Mara, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mara. It's Mara. If, I mean, if, your if, English if, is so if, good. If you, no. <laughs> if you send uh, send it to Rick or Foxic or whatever, if they listen. Pre-order should be when Mara or the developer teams feel like, okay, we have a working early access version right now. Now we can release the uh, pre-order. Because if they release the pre-order, let's say, this week, and the game doesn't go into early access for maybe next two months, people are going to get quite mad. They want early... No, no, like... no, no, no. But here's the thing, right? So if you release the pre-order after the 18th playtest is done for the two weeks... People are going to be interested in the product now because there is no yes. NDA attached to that. So yes, I'm pretty sure with that place has, there's long. no NDA. Real no, quick, it's not. It's open. It's open. But the pro the problem I see is if it takes too long after the 18th, it's going to be a problem. Because people will start refunding because oh the game isn't out yet. I can wait to next month. I think like when they see they're like okay. Everything under early access is done in two weeks. Now we can release the pre-order. They shouldn't release the pre-order too early and not too late. They should be just in the sweet spot when they think, okay, we're going to be done in two weeks. Now we release it. Look, That's when the hype will start. Like, okay, it's super close to release. I think that's better than releasing it at like the 18th or whatever. Um, um, and then wait two months. Another thing to add on, which is very important, and you just made me think of, is Mara even stated it. These big developers and all, uh, EA, fucking Battlefield, all this shit that's going on, yeah. they just don't make strives to be better and go for it. They don't put risk yeah. on the table. Mara, put the risk on the table. Take your own words of advice. Multiple editions, you're hearing it from freaking five different people. I've said this in another podcast. We didn't go to it into it as a uh, in much depth or whatnot. But also, you have forty something thousand people in the Discord, right? Do a poll. Almost 50. Do a fucking yes. poll. You need more polls yeah. out there. Tell Foxic, get off his ass. Make some polls. <laughs> we want to see how many editions you want. How much money would you want to spend on the game for the maxed edition? Oh. Stuff like that. We need those polls. Gauge off upgradable. of the community's interests. That's what you need to do. Upgradable editions. Upgradable, Up upgradable editions. editions. What would you like yes. to see in those upgradable editions? So, and if you're going to make an arena mode, do not make it the same price as the full game. If you're going to make it a separate paid access, no, and no, no. Please, it, for the love of God, it could be just at that rate. DC, after listening, to it's going to be within it's, the standard edition, even because we are going to give them so I much more extra money. By just listening to I, this, I they really wish they would just DLC. Do that. <laughs> I, like make it DLC make it a fifteen dollar edition. Yeah, just make it fifteen yeah. bucks. It, yeah, like you have to DLC. realize that you're cutting the content from the main game down to like ten percent of just the gunplay and the armor system instead of yeah. everything that makes the game the game. Because people love the gunplay and the armor system, they love the PvP aspect, but they they're more exhausted by the fact that they want to compete and feel good about themselves and maybe Dude. hone their PvP skills. Because there's not a lot of opportunity to hone because players mm -hmm. play tremendously different to AI. And when you run into a player in a PvE PvP game, you're going to suck. Do you because you're just to fighting AI? Better servers. Do you even or know how easy servers. it is to fucking do this? Do you even know? Look, the the map is already there. You take the er excerpts of what fucking POIs they have, and you just yeah. make a singular map out of that, and you put it into another game that's just PvP. Yeah. So well, simple. And yeah, but it shouldn't be another game. It should just be a Steam DLC, basically. It's still in the core game, but you or, need to yeah. unlock it with DLCs. You, that too. You can